Didn't Paul McCartney explain a collusion and the Mueller report to John Lennon? Well, this I do for myself. I really feel like where we are in our lives, sort of wisdom and appreciation. I want John and Paul to talk to each other. Yes. I don't care how. And then it became a time machine where, you know, because John left us in 1980. So now now lately I've been doing... Paul McCartney explaining them <laughs> to John yeah. Lennon. So what's going on down there, Paul? Oh, you know, it was a big, big whoop to do with the orange man, the big orange man. Who's the orange man? You know, Chumpy, the president I told you about. He's a big orange man. He's got little white circles around his eyes. He's got like cotton candy hair that swirls about. You know, they said maybe he's in cahoots with the Russians. <laughs> In cahoots. Yeah, you know, like doing a thing, a whoop de doo So they hired this man named Mueller. You know, he's a very, you know, he's a different looking gentleman. He's really narrow in the top of his head, you know. And his cheeks go out like a big chipmunk, you know. And they gave him like 25 million quid, you know, to investigate. You know, he went through a million pieces of paper and all these interviews. And he said, you know, I guess he's not in cahoots. They couldn't believe it. Sounds very strange. And then there was Hillary's emails. You know, they didn't know what to do. What's an email? (laughs) (laughs) During the Kavanaugh hearings, when everybody was so flipped out, it just occurred to me that if Paul McCartney read the news, he'd you'd still get the news, but it wouldn't be depressing (laughs) because it would be in that guy. It'd be like you know, still in America. So what are they trying to do? We're trying to get a top judge of man, John. You know, judge of man. So they got this guy, this guy Kavanaugh. Seems like a nice, nice enough bloke. You know, maybe a bit of a suds neck. You know. (laughs) What do you mean? We like beer or two, you know. And so they said, all right, you could be the top judge, man. And and then a bird from California says, hold on, hold on. So, you know, he went doobly, doobly, doobly on me, you know. <laughs> and that was all. So it just makes it lighter. Oh, I don't know. Oh, my God, that is fantastic. I want him to do I would, the news. I'll do it all. Well, you can throw me a news story. <laughs> Paul, uh, what about uh, John doesn't understand the college cheating scandal at all. Right. He can't figure that out. He wants to know what's happening. What happened down there? <laughs> <laughs> well, all these parents went a little, they went a little nutty, you know. And they said, i got to get me a kid in a top, top, tippity top of school, you know. And they gave all this money. And they said, well, it's not enough. They said, what if we say they're rowers? <laughs> what do you mean, rowers? Well, they like rowers in college. What does rowing have to do with college? <laughs> I don't know. But if you're a rower, they'll let you in the college. <laughs> so these two, these two girls, you know, they, they, they put them on little, little playful rowers you have in a room, little, like, you know, exercise rowers, and they took pictures. And the father gave a half million dollars. They said, could they go to college? But they didn't even want to go. Why would they put him in there if they didn't want to go? (laughs) Because they already had a job. They were on Instagram. What's Instagram? (laughs) Is that something Keith Moon used to snort?